All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to continue our journey here in uh, Ontario, Canada, phase nine, or if you want to call it season nine, it's, uh, it's fine too. So welcome back everyone here watching on Twitch live. Welcome back anyone watching the replay VOD on YouTube. Welcome back. We're going to get started here. Um, I did some homework on a little bit of materials that I'm going to have to craft here. So uh, we'll talk about those a little bit here in the game plan on the stream and eventually we'll just see what we can get done so uh let's uh let's waste no time and get started all right so very odd the uh the loading screens are taking a little bit longer nowadays not really sure what's going on okay so yeah you see there's a big mess going on right now but uh i'm gonna kind of explain this a little bit so we'll go over to the born burn forest i do have some some things to do here yeah some a little bit of things to do um two of these missions here have craftable items in them one is a cabin the other is a consumable so also need to kind of address that there's not cabins in either of these do not think there's any cabins no there's not so here's the thing have to craft cabins now ca to craft a cabin you need one metal beam one metal one medium plank well i haven't unlocked the sawmill yet there is medium planks here and they are in these warehouses warehouses however i do need to get this sawmill up and running so that's going to be something we are going to do. So, so you have this, these two tasks here that I just mentioned. They need cabins. So I'm going to have to build two cabins because I've used up all the free cabins in the game so far. So I'm going to do that. Now, next. Um, restoring the water tower three and restoring the water tower four. They both need consumables. And I believe actually. The, actually, the sawmill needs a cabin. Let's go. I need to actually go back for one second. I made a little misspoke there for one sec. Let me just go back to our tasks. Why is the task not showing there? It's kind of weird. Oh, that's Albany River. Okay, sorry about that. So, Waterboom 7 needs a cabin. 
Waterboom 6 needs consumables. Sawmill renovation needs um, a cabin. So I'm going to have to build that. Restoring the water tower uh, 3 and restoring the water tower 4. They both need consumables. Now, talk about this just a second here. Of what those materials require. Essentially, those materials require one metal beam, one medium plank. You can get these in unlimited quantities if you re restore the sawmill. So that's what I'll be doing after I bring over these uh, these metal beams here. And then also another thing we have to do is consumables. This one is a little bit more crafting. So long planks come from the sawmill renovation. So we'll do that and bring and shuttle those over. It's pretty easy to shuttle, shuttle them. It's just essentially going down a road, going through a gateway. Metal beams, metal rolls, we can get those from this uh, this place over here where I have my uh, NF47 uh, 1430. So I'm getting all my metal beams right now. Gonna bring those over. I have five of them here. I have one inside um, the crafting zone already. So just need six of these total for the rest of the, the region. So I'm gonna get these crafting items in place basically. And then it'll make my life easier when I'm trying to just essentially move cargo to a position, right? Might as well just do this now. Okay. Let's see, does that sit? Okay, cool. Let's do this. Shoot, didn't mean to do that, but that's whatever. Guess it's gonna be a lighter load. All right. Anyways, we gotta go. Could go this way, but take the shortcut, which actually I might, I might do. We're gonna, we're gonna try that actually. This little, this little shortcut here. Take this over. Yep. And we will be coming back to this uh, this depot here quite a bit, so. Alright, let's roll. So I do expect these to fall off pretty soon, so that's essentially just going to be something I'm going to have to deal with. Our next run, probably not so much, just with the dealing with metal rolls, that will be pretty easy to to shuttle over, so not really concerned with that, but this will be a little bit <clears throat> tedious if things start to fall off, so just a forewarning. Ooh, that looks like a nice little chute right there, but I'm actually going to dip down in here. Oof. Just gonna try to be concerned with how much I'm tipping these things over to, so we'll just take it slow through here. No, don't tip it. Oh, goodness, man. Already, right? Already. Opening five minutes. Whew. It's like a perfect situation right there. Tip your trailer, so. Perfect situation. <laughs> Pull the stuff back in. Man, this is where a modded trailer would be so, so nice right now.
That should be good. Ah, that's good. It's fine. It'll work. But yeah, man, this would be so much easier with a like an Azov truck, something with like a flat cab on the top where I can just pin it pin everything down. I don't have that. And I also don't want to bring a whole other truck over, so we're cheesing it. All right, let's try this again, shall we? I need an angle here, so there's the angle. There, now we're good. Yikes, man. Honestly, maybe I should just took the road, right? Okay. Ooh. Sliding around, sliding around, sliding around. Okay, let's uh let's adjust these real quick. We'll adjust these over. Make sure these are all good to go. I don't want these to like straight up fall off here. Especially in the water. Go, let's go. So if anyone wants to know what I what are my thoughts on the new the new region in season nine, I don't want to do any spoilers if, if you know people don't uh, haven't played it yet. But essentially, I think it's I think they're becoming some of my more favorite maps in the game, honestly. Okay, that'll work. Oh man, I hope this doesn't happen too much here. I guess I got a feeling it's about to. At least this is the only time we're gonna have to do this. Especially with like metal beams and such. It's kind of funny because I, I just did this with uh with medium plank or medium um pipes over there the other day off stream and everything went really smooth like did not tip any of them over and I was just super impressed and surprised but 
kind of funny. You get on stream and then everything just goes completely wrong. Well, let's put on, let's put on morning so we can actually can see some stuff. Stay away from the wall. Okay, we're still good. Let's flip it into high gear here and see if I can get some speed. Yo, is it me or do they make metal beams taller? I think they make made metal beams taller. I'm probably wrong, honestly, but I feel like this little front end on the sideboard bed used to come up above the metal beams, but that's just maybe I'm thinking about a two slot cargo in the front magnets. What's up, Dom? Welcome in, man. Don't you tip off. Here it goes. They stick like magnet? Yeah. I wish. Gosh, I wish right now. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely spokes too soon, huh? Let's do it. This will hold for a little bit. If not, I'll throw it back on. Stay on. There we go. Almost there. Almost to the road. Just a little farther. Okay, let's stay away from the rock. No. Nice. Just kind of like rebalanced it. Very nice. I need to angle. There we go. Whew. That's tough right there. That's like tipping condition right there. Yep. See, I'm, I'm like in the middle of tipping right now. Why is it not allowing me to move my crane? not allowing me to move my crane at all. That's kind of odd. Like I have... That's very odd. Hold on a second. I'm going to stall here probably. Alright. Got, my, got, my, got myself back. Here we go. All right, cool. We're back. <laughs> Anyways, that is a tipping condition right there. You're on a slant. You have no angle. Boom, you're done. So tons of heavy cargo. There's literally tip number two here. And what are we at? Like 20 minutes so far. It 
which is what happens. That's the, the name of the game, I guess. This far. One, one in the back. And I cannot wait to have these done with. For anyone that likes uh, using the modded trailers, this would be an excellent, excellent time to use it. If I had a six slot trailer right now, it'd be uh, really, really nice. Yeah, we're pretty much out. This is good. Oh, dang. That's a heavy load, man. Okay, let's get there, finally. Oh my gosh, don't tip over. Ooh. All right, so we need five metal beams. I am bringing four. I already have one inside this, uh, this facility here. And then I'm gonna go back for metal rolls and then after we do metal rolls i'm going to work on restoring the sawmill and that's kind of where we're gonna and that'll open up give me some chances to do some of these uh these last last few tasks and then contracts on the on this map because i think we'll do the water pulling all the water and stuff like that last so Yo, Cotton, what's up, man? Welcome back in. So you're a big fan of the background and history section of the reviews? Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay, usually don't, I don't see a lot of people that really enjoy that stuff, so... It's nice that you do, man. Okay, now we'll pack these. Okay, so... Now... We have five of these. I need... Yep. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I need three consumables total. And then I need two cabins. So I have, that's five. So I just need metal rolls. So I'm going to need, let's see. Actually, it's only like three metal rolls. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, it is honestly be nice to learn that stuff, man. It really is. Uh, I guess I'll just go back over. 
could pull them from these places here. But yeah, I might as well just go back over. It'll be very, very short. Very short run here. Yeah, that's going to be a short run. However, I want to look at this. Spare parts. Spare parts are there, so I might be I might be grabbing some spare parts in the in the meantime too. While I can go over there. All right, let's go. This will be an easier trip for sure. But yeah, Cotton, thank you for that that feedback, man. I'll keep that in mind. I know in some of my reviews, I don't have um, like the history of the actual real life models and stuff like that uh, because I did those in like a little bit of an informal fashion, kind of like just, you know, put the put it up there, rip out the pros and cons of it. I need to get some fuel from him first, actually. Yeah. Fuel, and then we'll dive down in there. But yeah, we're gonna be working on our our Zix five six six Alpha review pretty soon. So I definitely will try to get some good information on the the background history of that vehicle as well. Even though that part is pretty short, I think it is kind of kind of cool to see. I personally, have, have, in this whole process, um, have learned a ton about vehicles and such like that. And the crazy thing is, like, I never was like a a guy who, you know, knew a bunch about trucks, like in in real life and stuff like that. Kept up with stuff like that, you know. I'm essentially just a, a gamer. So I guess from playing this game, you know, you start to look up things and learn different things and stuff like that. So I think it's kind of cool. So four spare parts, four spare parts, three metal rolls. Yeah, I agree. Definitely a way to stand out above the crowd. So for anyone who is wanting to start this map, um, we talk about on this channel a lot is setting up your your support roles, and even on all the reviews, I talk about a lot of uh, setting a lot of a lot of times setting up support for trucks that don't have larger tanks, don't have good fuel economy and such. This is a is a a map that you need support vehicles set up in a lot of places, and that's kind of what I did here on this map. And uh, not so much on the next one, but we're kind of slowly bringing those over, so. I think if you have a, a fuel support vehicle, probably in like each quadrant of the map, and maybe one in the centralized location, or even like an offset location as like a floater, I think it'll be pretty good. It, it, but the thing is, it's tough to know where to set up 
those locations at because you don't necessarily know where you're going to be going on newer maps like as much um good places are essentially like where that tega 6455b is like at a centralized hub where you know you're going to be getting a lot of cargo from that's a good position too or like at gateways those are good positions too Yes, it does. It does have... There's one. There's one fuel station. It's right here. So essentially, you don't need to put fuel here, right? So I put fuel stations. One's here. Here's by the gateway. That was my 770G. I have a Tega here. This is by that centralized hub. I have other... These are by these fuel booms. These are. This is a uh, fuel truck. Fuel truck there, one here, one here, and that's essentially it because I ran out of missions here. But yeah, I have I have fuel trucks all around the map, kind of like spread, right? But the thing is, I thought I was gonna be getting my water from these these places, these water booms that I restored, and I, I really didn't. So I'm gonna have to kind of rotate these vehicles through this gateway. But the thing is, on this gateway. I do have a fuel carrier up here. This is a service vehicle, which is the Zix I have up there. I have a fuel carrier here, a small scout fuel carrier there, small scout fuel carrier here. And so far I've been doing pretty good, but I think, and also I have fuel truck fuel truck with a fuel carrier here so I'll probably relocate this to like a centralized position of this map or depending on where I take these these water tanks to drop stuff off I'll kind of put it in that position just to kind of give myself support there real nerd stuff you know But yeah, after we do this here mission, I'm, I think I'm going to break out the, the Zix 566 Alpha. And we're going to pull a semi-trailer with it. Um, I have noticed it's been a little bit better pulling semi-trailers than a lot of uh, 4x4s. So yeah, we're going to give that a shot here. Might as well do some, you know, on-stream testing. Stuff like that. A little bit more. So, we're going to do this real strategic, right? So, check this out. I need... I'll make sure I go back and cross-check this stuff, because... Okay, I need three consumables. That's going to be three metal beams. So, that means that... And also, I want to look at this. Sawmill renovation is going to be four spare parts. So what I'll do, I'm going to load two of these like that. And then I'm going to load one of these that are going to sit between it. Oh, there's that bug again. So this is actually a pretty sweet place to, uh, to do like a little bit of a stacking situation. Hopefully I can kind of show this in a proper way. But these are these are great to do this. Okay, let's go down. This back and over. And plop that in place right like right like that. And then what I'll do is I'll move this over a tad. 
Give it a little bump. There we go. Great. So that that literally will stay. That should stay in, in place. And it shouldn't come out very easily. All right. So now we're going to do, I think it's service spare parts, right? Yep. One, two, three. I'll put the last one on top of my cab. Single piece of cargo, pretty easy to do. Boom, just like that. Let's turn around. And then back to the uh, the creation zone. And then we're going to go do this sawmill stuff. Yep, see how that roll sticks in there nice? The metal rolls can can really uh they can stay packed. Or not packed, they basically can stay stacked pretty easily. Uh take is getting low. Think about swapping him out here with something else. Which we have we have assets in the area to do that, so. Let's see if this one way works. Maybe I can go. Like through here. I don't know. Let's try it. You know, let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Why not, right? This one. Actually, this looks rough. No, you know, I'm not going to do that. Not with stack cargo. Literally flipped twice <laughs> last time. We did save our engine twice, though, but rather just try to take a little bit lesser of a route while I'm doing shenanigans like this. That's where I tipped last time, turn down into it, then turn out. Metal roll is hanging in there nicely. Actually, we, we did we flip what three times? Um. High centered here. Yep, high centered. All right, sweet. That metal roll. It's amazing.
You know, I think there is a shortcut that goes up through here. I think, where's it at? I think it's like right. Where's it at? I think it's like right through here or something like that. There's actually a road. Like a little path. It, it, this is weird. Like this zone has some weird like little pathways that are off like the beaten path. And you can go. It's it's really nice though. But I really think my favorite map on this this region is definitely burned burned forest. I, I think the burned forest has some of the best like trails that I've, I've ever encountered on this game so far. Like you essentially can use any vehicle in the game. I mean, yeah, you're going to have like some, you know, tippy situations. There are some like deeper areas, but like they are really, really small and you can winch out of them very easily. There's essentially like almost, I'm pretty sure there's like almost I don't want to say no water, but there's very minimal water on that map. And it's just nice, man, like going up into the hills. Some of those like off the beaten path routes that you can go through like the rocks and the mountains and stuff like that has just been awesome. Oh, it stalled. Dang. Got all that way to saw out. Didn't expect that. Let's, uh, let's dodge this, right? All right, sweet. Drop these three little uh, metal rolls off. Take these up to the gateway. Pass these off to our Zix 566 Alpha. And then we'll take him for a spin. Let's see if we can do some things with him. You know, something I didn't put on my review for the the dairy special 15 charlie 177 was um it can't haul a trailer when it has a fire tank i didn't find that like super like a, a huge like red flag so that's why i didn't really put it on there uh but like looking back on it in hindsight I, it definitely is a little bit of a red flag in some case in some some areas yeah so we'll go this, this, and pack, pack. And then it rolls. This on here. Oh, that's right. I need to get this off of here because I need to create this cabin. That's right. Give me a second. So cabin creation time. Oh, I need medium planks. That's right. Never mind. I'm, I'm literally forgetting myself. All right, let's go.
All right, to the gateway. What was that? All right, so through the gateway. All right, so we need one cabin, but I need a medium plank for that. So what we'll do now that we're sitting right here. There's my Zix sitting behind me. I'm going to detach. Pull this out of the way real quick. We'll definitely use him later, but we're going to do some work with the Zix here. Okay, let's see how he hauls. Um, I do not have the balloon tires on here on this map. I do not think it, it needs it. Um, the balloon tires are, I think, like four inches shorter, I believe. I actually need to cross check that. Let's actually look here. Oh, yes, absolutely, guds. I think this map, I mean, this region, I think of all the DLCs, it's honestly trending to me to be the, the best, I think. Let's see here. I want to make sure this actually that checks 47s down to 43s. Yeah. So, yeah, you're, you're losing four inches by just putting on the, the uh, AMHS. Honestly, I wouldn't even use the AMHS. On this map, I think, I really think the UOD 2s are going to be your best bet. They're going to bite really well. This, there's a lot of dirt on this map. Four extra inches gives you four extra inches of clearance. Yeah. I mean, there's a time and place. Oh, that's my other one. As you can see, I've been using the, the 566 for th some things, so. All right, let's go. Here, here, down. Drop that stuff off, grab that craftable. But yeah, this map is really nice. Um, the Zix has specialized gearboxes, um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail on the review. But we don't see a lot of vehicles with specialized gearboxes, so. And then there's my other Dairy Longhorn I've been using a little bit too. not a fan of its turning circle and I'm not a fan of its turning speed either. That's going to be something I'm not a super fan of right now. But if you guys remember um, the nature of like 4x4s, they're not super good at pulling trailers.
or pulling semi trailers, I would say. However, this is uh, pretty darn nice. Four inches of diameter give you four inches of two inches of clearance. I'm not sure of that math. All I know is uh, I don't think you need the extra clearance here. So here's the, the, the in reality that makes sense, right? In reality, that makes complete sense. However, the thing is, when you use a balloon tire in this game, it just acts as being a boy, a, a very buoyant tire. So it sits above the mud. So in this in this scenario, you're not ever going to run into like super mud. So you actually want a tire that that grips better in dirt and can actually grab things, especially if you're wanting to haul cargo like this. You want to bite in. You want to be able to grab traction because uh, yeah, if you don't, you're just going to be spinning wheels, not going anywhere. Um, I kind of showed a little bit of this on my uh, Zix. I think it's the 5368 review. It shows a little bit of that. So if you know you're not going to encounter like super conditions, or you don't need it. I think uh, uh, UOD 2s. Unless you have a better option, but if you know that you're going to be like in the thick of it. Yeah, then you can just throw on the balloons and then be OK. You're still on PS4 and they still want to have about $40 for it. Ugh. That doesn't sound good. So far, this thing is doing pretty darn good. Um, the high range gearbox on this is pretty wild. It's it's kind of insane, actually. <laughs> Fuel consumption on the high range. It gets pretty darn high. But you definitely can fly down roads, that's for sure. I mean, 200,000 torque in this thing. I, I think its weight is like 7.2 US tons. I'd have to check. I think it's, it weighs about as much as the uh, 5368, actually. Yeah, this is another one I think it's fun, really fun to drive. It's actually really nice. I don't know. So far. All right, so let's go drop these off, make our cabin, get the sawmill up and running, and then I need to shuttle things from the sawmill back to here. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing, because I need to craft these consumables, which are just kind of annoying. But I think if you have the sawmill updated, the route that you take from the sawmill to this crafting zone is its pretty short. It's pretty easy, so it's not like it's too bad. Ooh, darn. That's not good. That is not good. I'm like close to having a damaged engine right now. And the sad thing is I only have fuel on top of the roof for, for just range. Medium plank, 
craft one of those, take one of those, and then we're on our way. So I could just load this up on the that gentleman right there, but there's a I have to bring back long planks from the sawmill, so. Has anybody completed this completed this region so far? Has anyone got done with it? I know I've seen some people on like Facebook and I think it might be Discord that, that completed this region already. As you can see, I definitely have not. I've been taking my time. I've been playing some other games too, trying to just play other things other than just SnowRunner exclusively. So, got to kind of switch it up and give myself something other than just SnowRunner nonstop. Sorry, I just smacked my desk. I'll turn the volume up a little bit here for the the actual game. Let me know if the game volume is too high. When I first started the stream, it was like hitting the red on the audio, so I had to turn it down, so. Crank that audio up a little bit so you actually can hear the vehicle music okay good thank you guds all right i'm gonna take this sweater off real quick all right so my house is like where I, where I have like my office set up, it's like our guest room right now because I don't have my actual office set up because we're redoing our basement and that's kind of where I'm going to my layer is going to be. But uh, yeah, if I don't have like a space heater in here because like the heating in this room is just not good. Um, it gets super cold, but then I put the space heater on and then it just gets like super hot. Oh man, yeah, the engine sound is awesome. I do love the music on this, it's so chill, relaxed. Honestly, I think this map, it's its weird, man. Like, people, there's a lot of people that say they want to see, like, a, uh, like a Michigan 2.0, and I really think this essentially checks that box for me. Nice, you have two more tasks to do, Yoda. Nice, man, that's awesome. Michigan is a great map, man. I, I actually ranked Michigan, Alaska, and Tamir in my top. On my most recent uh, favorite, favorite maps. I think people are so eager to get away from, like, the base game maps, but um, honestly, like, they are so good. They're so well put together. They're just nice. They're just very polished maps. Oh, absolutely. One of the best for sure. Okay, so the this little truck is not doing bad. I don't. I see its front end pulling up a little bit with, with heavy weight. I kind of want to test this out a little bit more, so... We'll probably be using this uh, configuration for a little bit. I want to see how it handles, like, really heavy weight, to be honest. 
And on to Alaska. Yeah, you're going to love Alaska, man. Okay, sweet. There we go. Now we have this warehouse open. This is great. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The progress of upgrades is awesome. Same thing with Alaska and Tamir. Same things. Okay, so I need long planks. I know it. I know it. I know it. Hold on a second here. Okay, so for consumables, we need long planks. So I'm going to need three of these. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to do this, this thing here. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but yeah. But I'm pretty sure these these planks aren't heavy. So if I can just stack this on top right here, and then we'll just cruise down the road real, real smooth-like, you know? Yep, getting those first sets of off-road tires are awesome. Getting uh, a nice off-road gearbox is awesome. And then, you know, Alaska, you get the high range gearbox. That is that is great, too, right? OK, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I can. The Russian crane is not strong at all, but sometimes you can pull off a little bit of these, these like maneuvers, I guess you would call them. Keep the winch on. I want to like make sure I can pull push this over. I don't know why it's not letting me push this. Okay, here we go. What is going on here? What am I in the world? It just the crane is really weak. Okay, come on, man. I'm trying to like draw it in. So the farther your crane is out, extended, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this already. The weaker your crane is. Okay, let's try this. You know what? We're just gonna go. If I have to readjust, I'll readjust. These long planks are really not heavy at all. I notice this thing like jerks though, whenever it goes into in and out of gears, it like jerks. That's not, no worries on that. So I need one more of these and we'll make that trip. After that, we pretty much have all of the consumables ready, I think. You know what? Hold up a second here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, one more trip. That's right. Pushing high gear right through this. Pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, it's kind of weird, the crane, when it does that. See if this straightens it up. Yep, there we go. Nice. It will not go fast here. Not gonna go fast. Just gonna take it easy. I don't want this falling off. Okay, so now on our next trip back, we're going to put a long, a long log and then I'll probably hold like a medium plank for the last 
cabin, I believe we need. I think we need one more cabin. And that's essentially it. So what did, what did you post, Guts? So Streamlabs is, is not going to let you post any type of link, anything. It's like the, uh, the bot moderator. Slow down. Slow it on down. I'm telling you, this thing is a wild man with the high range gearbox. It really is like, it's kind of scary. It really is kind of scary. If you like excitement, uh, the high range gearbox will definitely give you that excitement, and that's for sure. I see, okay, I got gotcha. you. You know, it's, it's crazy. I gotta say something though. Like, what I don't like about this so, the cargo is called a consumable, okay? And it's taking one long plank to craft one of these. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, that. That doesn't make sense at all. It is a huge... You're gonna roll, so then basically... Make two of those right now. Alright, so I need to get... One more... So we have to go back and get one long... And one medium. So that's the last run, actually. So, if anyone is wondering about crafting here, this is essentially what you have to do. Gosh, man, just taking damage. Yeah, after this, we'll go get started on uh, on the burned burned forest. I believe it's called. Start pulling over some of this cargo that we just uh, newly acquired. But yeah, I mean, overall for this map. Overall, I don't have a lot of critiques on how things could be made better. Oh, and that you use modded cranes cause of patience thing. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. I mean, there's a few things on this on this region I could say probably could be made better. One, I'm gonna say that the water booms. Like, whenever you create those, it's just like, what do you use those for? Do you know what I'm saying? I think it's more of a... If I'm correct, and I'm not saying I am correct about this, I'll, I'll kind of like shift back over to, to the Albany River real quick. So with these water booms over here on Albany River, like here's, here's one, here's two, here's three, right? So you have these water booms, and then you have these areas that were on fire right through. Here's another water boom. So you, you repair these, right? 
And then essentially there's no water in them, but one of them, I think. And I think I heard somewhere that they share water from each other. So they're like a pipeline that goes to each other. Now, I think the only way this could be used like effectively is if you are on like multiplayer where one person is drawing from one of these taking them to a location and then the other person is actually actively going over to these permanent locations and shuttling water to the other booms. So you're kind of working in tandem, right? I think if that's the intent, that's kind of cool. Other than that, I have not used any of those booms whatsoever. And I don't plan to. So I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't really know the whole story behind it. Shoot, I didn't get gas, did I? Whatever, I have gas on my roof, so. And then we'll just fill up on the way back. Uh, is there a... No. But yeah, those are pretty much my only critiques there. And then I think the crafting, especially the consumables. Um, yeah, doing things a little bit out of, out of order is OK for me. I think it kind of like I do like my order of operations, kind of like the classic three base maps you do, you know, scouting, upgrades, tasks contest and then moving forward right but it's not like that and this thing is so much power dude so much power and then it stalls It is, it is a little beast, honestly. I'm gonna pull the other one out here, and I'm gonna do a contest with it coming up, and then uh, you guys will see how fast this thing actually get, gets going. Hopefully, I can keep control of it, but and that other one has a high range gearbox in it too, as well, with a crane, small sideboard bed. So we'll see how that rolls. Okay, so I need to make one more cabin. So that means I need to get one medium plank here. So we'll do that, but we'll put in the long plank first. And then on the loading platform, we'll put the medium plank. And I'll just hold this on top of my cab. These are not heavy at all, actually, so. Perfect. You know what's kind of cool about the uh, the Russian cranes? They don't have this like... The American cranes have this like super big bulge right here. This like joint. And if you like can't get... You can't get that out of the way. That contacts on top of uh, the, the crane location where you want to pin it down. And it doesn't look as smooth as this. So it's another little nerd fact. So you kind of have to, like mess with it a little bit. But yeah, we'll do a contest over here with that, the other Zix here in a moment. Still in high. Switch it. Yeah, so far I think it's pulling semis better than any 4x4 I've seen so far. So 
but we'll put some weight on it and actually get a little bit better of a picture. Because I noticed it's, it is starting to pull a little bit on its steering in some situations, but it's not like it's crazy. Okay, shoot, don't hit that. So, like, to put this in perspective, the Zix essentially has the same amount of power as the Tega. Like, 200,000 torque. It's definitely a lot lighter. But, just kind of crazy how much power it has for such a little vehicle. All right. Definitely gonna do some burn logs too. That's probably something I need to do. Yo, Redneck, thank you so much for that uh that follow here. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna wheelie. That's that's essentially what happens with a lot of the 4x4s when you put semi on them. Because they don't have the second axle, right? That second axle really helps. And that's why I think it was starting to. It was like, I'd, I'd see the front end pop up a little bit. There, it was like very minor, but obviously we don't, we don't have like really heavy weight on this thing right now. Like these planks are not heavy weight if you look at the, the chart which I don't have in front of me yet right now. Probably could pull it up sometime and actually talk about that. Oh yeah, you can definitely can feel it. I kinda wish I could grab those. I remember back in the day, phase two, where they would have pieces of cargo like laying out in certain locations as like props. But the thing is, you could actually grab those pieces of cargo and use them. And they weren't like scripted parts. Like you couldn't, they weren't those areas where you could break down. And then they patched that over and that was all done with, but. Yeah, that was really cool how they did that or how that was available. Yeah, I do like the details of like heavy cargo. It is, oh, dang. A good thing I'm not broke now. Okay, spin this round. Toss it on there. Okay, so cool. Now we can make one of these. Now we can make... I do not want to make those. I need to make three pieces of these because th these are going to be for restoring the water tower. Uh, water boom six and water tower three and four. So one. What's going on? Why is my? Here we go. One, two, three. Put this in here. We're gonna put. Oops. <laughs> there. One, two, three. Cool. Let's go. Okay. So this is all the crafted cargo I need in this region. I'm pretty sure, but watch. I'm telling you, watch. There's gonna be something I missed. And then I'm gonna have to come back and do all this stuff again. Hopefully not, but. Get 
this all filled up here. So this is a little bit heavier of a load, especially like right behind it. I'm not sure cabins weigh too much. You know what, hold up, let me look up this. I think I have this, uh, this document actually in my files. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. All oh, engines, no. Let's go great info. Add-ons, winches, trailers, add-ons. Cargo. Okay. So we, we do have this information. Let me actually pull this up here for you guys. Um, you're going to see my screen real quick. Yup, there it is. All right. So this, I don't really like this, um, this setup here, but you can see packed weight here. Table editing. Usually I can go from like top to bottom. But cabins are three tons packed. So this is actually metric. Consumables. Where's consumables at? Oh wow, those are 2.5. Not too bad. Metal, where's metal beams? Garbage is actually three. Metal beams are five. This will be a really good actually uh, fill up with metal beams. Pull those. Or the um, the oil drill. This is actually a good one to do as well. The oil drill. So, that's essentially it. But there's a better, there is a much better um, document for that stuff. Yeah, there's a there's a much better document out there. It's kind of like a um, almost like a bar chart. I think that's a better for people who are more visual like me. It will show the unpacked and packed weight in like a bar form and give you a legend at the bottom. It, it's really nice. So. Stop and grab some weight, some fuel here by this, uh, this big old truck, which is getting empty quick. So I keep using the mess out of it. Okay, fill up the roof rack once we're all. Oh yeah! By the way, the roof rack is essential on this vehicle. It's absolutely essential. You see right there, I'm pulling like 5.4 gallons per minute on pavement 4.7 still pretty hot high for a little vehicle what is going on district welcome in man high range gearbox man and this thing chugs fuel you get places fast but you chug fuel so Yep, you can use, you know, putting more weight essentially like up front on your wheels is definitely a, a better option, right? Because if you put weight in the back of your trailer, I think like in the hauling world, I think real life, if you have more weight back here, you're going to fishtail like this is going to be like really unstable, right? I'm pretty sure. I think I think when you're hauling things via freight, I think it's always better to have your bigger weights up front. Actually, you know what's kind of cool? The clearance of this trailer looks like it's almost upsloping a little bit. That's kind of nice. That is kind of nice. All right, so um, we're going to pause with delivering this stuff. I'm going to go grab this little Zix over here. This one right here. We're going to head We're going to head over to 
mountain ride, actually. We're going to do this, this mission here. But I first need to probably bring... Oh, man. Yeah, I first probably need to bring my Zix. My 605R. Down. I think this way. Yeah, I need to bring my, my 605R down. So he is my repair vehicle. Uh, so I take him and do all my repairs. As you can see, I did the repairs for this vehicle here. Finish this mission. So the Russian trucks are just my uh, support vehicles right now. So we'll bring him down so I can repair that that smaller Zix whenever he does mountain ride because he's going to take a ton of damage just by the nature of moving fast and saber and yeah damage mechanics I just know it so we'll do this first and then I'll bring him over we'll do that little contest and then we'll just continue with uh, knocking out these tasks but yeah if there's any truck you guys want to see that is uh that you want to see in action here please let me know I'll probably get him over here and use him in some form or fashion so I definitely would like to to use other things for sure I've been mostly just using American trucks as you can see mostly those are like my prime movers on this map and it's essentially because I honestly this map doesn't need to use all these bigger trucks right yo do be welcoming as well good to see ya What's the truck I could use to bring over here is like the, the 114 SD. I'm kind of wondering about that truck actually. How it would do here. So we might we might get that out and see if we can pull some heavy cargo with it. Even though it doesn't have a good strong engine. I want to see how it would, would handle this place. Because there's a lot of up and down, up and down, right? So be a good spot to kind of show that off. All right, so I have him here because he brought logs to complete this contract up here to unlock this tower. But we're going to have to use him for burned logs pretty soon. Okay, let's go. You know something I, I did like actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop here for a second when I looked at timber for the locals this is what I thought was really cool usually guys when you see like logging missions on maps they're like four medium logs three long logs and stuff like that now I think I think Saber is is watching streamers or they're watching feedback because as you can see like it's only one medium log or one long log, one sh too short, which isn't bad at all. And then, you know, long planks, medium planks, and they're going to different locations. That's awesome, right? Timber for the locals too. One, one, three. Three is not bad. You can stack those up, but yeah. Yo, Elias, welcome in, man. Yeah, it is hard to catch me live, man. I really don't stream too much. Um, so nice to see you, man. You're the guy from Sweden? Well, welcome in, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Welcome in. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for that. Yo, two Ravens. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Sorry, I had to, like, minimize my screen there. Just to look. I don't have my second monitor. It's weird. If I put Streamlabs on my second monitor, the game, like, freezes. I don't know what happened with, like, the new update to the game or the graphics card. It's just wacky stuff, so... I could get out my other laptop and have the stream like playing and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do that when I get my bigger desk, but 
for the moment. That's what we got. Yeah, let me guys, let me know what truck you guys want to see. Pull some cargo here, and we'll uh, we'll try to make it happen. First, we're going to do this contest with the new Zix high range gearbox. See if it, uh, it can pull some pull some good times for us. So you fell in love with the Russian trucks yourself? They are really good trucks, honestly. They they really are. How long have I been playing on Ontario? Let's see here. I am 72% done. So I have a little under 20 missions left. Let me use the bandit. Okay. <laughs> the top 0.5%. Yes, this is. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Ravens. That's hilarious, bro. Yep. I ate Chipotle, what, like 120? Was it 123 times or something like that? Or 120 times this past year in 2022? There's a tipping part right there. If it wasn't the 605R, it probably would have tipped. Guarantee I'm gonna have to go down to the quarry to get some get some cargo for all these these missions too, so we'll be seeing that. Well, how about this, Elias? What about could you do me a favor and pick a North American vehicle you'd like to see? I can haul cargo. I'm trying to stay away from using the Russian trucks a little bit on this map just because it's... Honestly, man, it's really just a, a nice, easy, smooth map. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you, Ravens, for that. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. A white Western Star? Okay, we can grab him. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. We try. Honestly, we try. Okay, let's see. I'll leave him here. Let's go grab the other Zix here. He's all busted up first. Okay, let me actually map this out. I need to get up here and fast. How do I get there? Okay. I'm wondering. Yeah, you know what we're going to do? There is a opening right here. I can get myself up into here. This is actually a really cool shortcut. This is something I really like about this map is there's a lot of these little shortcuts through here. That you never see. Like right here is a path that comes through these trees. Um, you know, another good one is right here. Coming off this path right here, you can just drag the, something right through here. All the way around this whole facility. Um, here is another good one actually where... Where is it at? Oh, right here. The side of this mountain, you can go this way. Or you can come down through here. Man, it's, it's so nice. Honestly, like, the way they designed this map is just really nice. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, this thing is gonna fly, I'm telling you. So, um... I'll talk about a little bit about this exclusive, uh, high-range gearbox that this thing has. Um or exclusive gear boxes because the Zix um I'll go a little bit more in detail on the on the review maybe not though I might just brush over it 
But essentially, the things you need to know is certain gears allow for certain throughput of power, and high range the high range gearbox effectively feels like to me the sport gearbox, which is on the uh, the sprinter. Like on the sprinter, if you notice, whenever you're in sixth gear and you start going through like a little bit more difficult terrain, you hear the engine kind of like spike up, right? And it almost feels like there's like a th some like more engine throughput. I think essentially what that is is a parameter that allows for more throughput of power in that certain gear. So the same thing on this gearbox, there's more throughput of power in sixth gear. And high gear is just slightly below that in throughput. So, but I think high gear is the better pick because it's a lower gear. So when you run into trouble, you still have, I think, more power to not like shift yourself out. So, but yeah. Um... Yeah, it's kind of weird. So, like, I'm kind of understanding a little bit about the torque throughput. I mean, I kind just from playing, you can kind of tell what gear allows for more power throughput, right? But the thing is, it's it's tough to tell. I mean, I was even kind of asking questions on guys who do like, you know, research, data mining, stuff like that, and yeah. Essentially, there is, there's no, like, torque multiplier in lower gears, which seems kind of strange, because it's, like, kind of backwards, right? Like, you should have more torque in lower gears. That's kind of the, the simplicity of, of having, like, a manual gearbox or any type of gearbox, any gear in general. Like, you have more power in lower gears. So... Yeah, I'm using the 605R because, uh, Elias, what, what, essentially all my Russian trucks are just support vehicles. So, you weren't, you weren't here when I, I talked about that. But yeah, also this vehicle is new, so that's why I'm using it as well. So yeah, all my Russian trucks are essentially either repair trucks, fuel trucks, um, etc. Basically, just support vehicles right now. For the simple fact that this, this map is not that tough, but uh, I'm using this one. This is a Russian truck for sure. This is just because it's a new truck and I want to try it out. Because I need to write a review on it pretty soon. Yo, what's up General? Welcome in. Okay, I gotta not damage myself to oblivion here. gotta say, General, this one actually is pretty good, man. I think this one is pretty good. I've been... I'm not a huge fan of 4x4s. But this has been rather enjoyable to play. It's like flying through stuff. I'm just wondering if it's gonna be on, like, crocodile levels of performance. Yeah, I know what you mean, though, General. I think uh, what the general public wants is uh, more vehicles of um, of the heavy type, heavy duty, and off road. And I'm totally behind that. Like six by six, eight by eight. I'd, I'd like to see a good six by six, honestly. So yeah, that's a little. This thing's like floating through this stuff. Uh, 
Oh yeah, like the Forester? Yeah, that was awesome. I think that was a really good addition to the game, actually. Especially for logging, man, because logging is so tough. I mean, there's like really a few vehicles where you can put logs on them and just be like, hey, this is a safe bet. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. One of them is the Cat 745C. The other is the, uh, the Forester. Just because they're so wide, right? I mean, there are some other good trucks that can handle, the, you know, medium logs and short logs on their frame and be okay, but those two really handle it well. Oh my goodness, man, I'm lying right now. Oh! <laughs> Remember I talked about those tipping points? Oh, that sucks. Okay, well... We do have an ANK civilian right here, so... You get this for free, by the way. Oh, I forgot about that... Uh, What's it called? That repair point. I didn't even need to bring the, the Zix down here for repairs. Someone is selling one of those guys near you for 1300 bucks. Shoot. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Okay, whatever. It's actually worked. This works out because I can come alongside of him and then just pull him out and then just go up. So we'll go around this way. Thirteen hundred bucks for a five ton? Yeah, we'll go up this way through here. I think I can get through here. Yup, I think I can. Might be able to. Yup, sure can. You just started to make fan art of every truck in the game. You've just started on the Azov 5319. Yeah, I think so. I would. I'd probably put your signature at the bottom of it to make sure no one could uh, steal it. Because I'm sure you know how people are these days. But yeah, I think you should. Oh man, the winch points are not good. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna bring this ANK back to this little pub, this little hub station, because I want to, uh, I want to pull that trailer whenever I need to to some situations or some areas. Yeah, man, I would, I'd publish it if you, if you got some good artwork and you wanna. I'm gonna show it off, do it. Absolutely. I think people a lot of people will enjoy it. Most definitely. Yo, how good is the stock ANK? Right? Insane. So, check this out. What's that little pathway? Did I pass it already? I did. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, that's dumb. That's not good. 
That's not good. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, the shenanigans, man. Gosh, how many point turn was that? Is that a tree? Is that? Yeah, it's a tree. Okay, never mind. Thought it had a middle winch point. It doesn't. I know, right? That kind of felt like it. Okay, let's. What I'll do is I'll just jump into the other truck and turn him around because I feel like anytime you're at like a too sharp of an angle, it wants to back up. some uh well some 6.0 gallons per minute here you know told you this thing can chug actually i need to shut this down all right refuel repair and then we'll do this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Okay, let's go back. Try not to take too much damage here before we start this contest. Yeah, the turning radius is not good. truck there okay let's see what this is first okay what's going on there mountain ride first oh wow oh wow okay oh dude this is crazy oh this is wild Okay, so... Okay, this is a pretty wild one. I'm putting these points in. Yeah, there we go. You know, I probably should be doing this with a, like a load star. I feel like the turning is going to be kind of weird. Not having like fast twitch turning is gonna kind of guarantee is gonna get me. Okay. First off, let me get this dude out of the way here. All right, that'll work. All right, first off, before we do this, I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I just drank a ton of coffee. So uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, be back in one minute, and then we'll roll.
Okay, we're back. So you've been using the 5600 TS in this region a lot. It seems like there's a lot of three slot contracts. I noticed that too. I noticed there's a lot of like six slots too as well. So it seems like it's kind of catering to the uh, sideboard bed crane hitch trailer type, which uh, kind of sucks for me because then it means I have to overstack. All right. Put this back on morning. Spin this thing around. Um, I'm going to say this beforehand. This is not an op optimal uh, configuration, especially with this crane. Because as you know, cranes make things more unstable. So we're going to try this out. Hopefully it works. Okay. Oh, you used the 56 alpha to, to run back there? Nice. Okay, here we go. So down around. Okay, I didn't really expect this, but we're going to do it. Here we go. Let's roll. Turn, 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 turn. I'm kind of like blipping the throttle here, like feathering it out. So, except for that. Oh my goodness. Turned around here a second. Didn't see that coming. Okay. Oh. So just keep it in auto for this little blip here. Just clutch bump it. Not too bad. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. Oh, and oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. Maybe we'll make up some time here. I don't know. Pretty sweet, though. This thing is cooking right now. Not bad for a first run. If I can get the thing to turn correctly. All right. Okay, we'll see how hard this is getting up this hill in this little uh, little mountain pass I was talking about earlier. So yeah, this is not a, a route that's actually on the map. You have to kind of like look for it. Ooh. Crane is like definitely a factor right now. Get into auto, and we'll just clutch bump it. I'm 
gonna break our tires right now. Oof, okay. Nice. Man, this thing is nice. You can just feather the throttle in high gear because that's so much power. Except for you can't turn sharp. You're gonna try it with a load load star next? I would. I think the load star would probably crush this time. Just because like the, the steering's better. You don't have to do stuff like that where I have to, you know. Yeah, I think I probably could have shaved like 30 seconds off this load star, but whatever, we did it. I think it was still a dang good run. Four minutes, so. Cool, that's that. <clears throat> Alright, so now. Alright, so I need to deliver these to the locations. So, um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, not that one. I think it's good. Let's do six. So we'll do this. The boom. So you know what actually we'll do? I got an idea. I'm going to pass this off. Because I want to use... Uh, okay, you know what? Hold on. Actually... Is... Is Elias still in the chat? If he is, I need to go... If he's still here, he actually requested I use the, uh, the White Western Star. So if he's still here, we will do that request, because he did request to use the White Western Star. He did originally request um, the Bandit, but I'm trying not to use Russian trucks as like my primary movers, so... So you still want the uh, the Western Star, you said? I don't know if I like that color. You know, I kind of like this. I don't know why. Okay, so. Western Star it is. This will not take long at all. We'll just get this up to the gateway. It's essentially just all highways up there, so. And then I can just swap swap trucks real quick. So this won't take long. You know, everyday Alex, welcome in, man. Ontario has been good, man. It's been good. I've just been kind of slowly creeping through region. I just got done crafting um, pretty much every single craftable that I'm gonna need. So we're just essentially just taking those craftables to the locations and then uh, we'll start drawing from those other warehouses and then effectively I know that we're going to have to go over to um, my northwest corner of the Albany River to get the actual um, infinite amounts at some point, so... Yeah, it's, it's been going good. It's been going really good. Man, I wish I could take off these, like, little fenders. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, they've been really fun, man. It honestly feels like a, a Michigan 2.0. I think we all have been wanting a map kind of like that, and it's, it, honestly, I, I feel like it is. It kind of feels like Michigan a little bit. Just like a different rendition. I mean, yes, it is Ontario, Canada. A lot more mountainous, up and downs, stuff like that. But I mean, like terrain overall, like difficulty, and just like, how fun it is it just it's awesome it really is we i think as a community we kind of needed this
but I don't think I think moving forward um okay Elias take care man so if he's leaving then maybe I'll just use the uh, the dairy uh, we'll pull that we'll pull with this for a little bit why not right we just got it out um yeah I think moving forward if Saber like I think they need to leave the gimmicks out like the new the new mechanics need to, need to kind of stop for the rest of the the, uh, the year pass I think phase 10 11 and 12. So phase 10, I think, should be either phase 10 or 11 should strictly be fixing multiplayer and fixing bugs. OK, that's why I think it should be solely focused on that. I think there is enough content in there that people whenever they if you just look at comments, whenever they announce a new region, one of the first things they say is in comments if you ever look at them the first things people say is fix the bugs in the game like we don't care and while like i understand that you know making new content is like it generates revenue right the thing is if multiplayer was fixed they would have a player base that's even larger or if they revamped it so i i think that's what one phase should be is just a total revamp of um of multiplayer if if they can and then the rest of it just needs to be regular maps good design and the mechanics need to stop like like farming was too much um the firefighting is okay so far i'll probably have a little bit more of like a say on what i really feel about that later but i think it's okay so let's go help or we'll do is it six yeah we'll do six okay so so i might have to transfer some of this stuff so let me get let me get a view on what i can deliver and what I can't okay so I can deliver consumables there that's good I'm gonna need a cabin here so I'll keep a cabin and one consumable one cabin one consumable okay so and then after that um let's see it's this right here no Okay, so maybe I can bring this over there, right? Consumable there. Consumable there. Darn. <laughs> this is kind of rough. Maybe I'll just go around and, and, and just drop these off. Real quick. Okay, so what I'll do... We'll go up here. Drop off this consumable. Uh, after that, come back out. Go to this warehouse. Grab the next part of it for the package sand. I think there's two of those in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I feel like they want people to get their fill of it. Get their fill of uh, the new mechanics. I don't think it's... I think they're just putting too much in there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that they can make a map that has a little bit of firefighting. Maybe a farming contract or two that are like generally smaller. Then they can put... You know, they already have crafting, I guess, and then they, they've already used 
um, you know, phase one gimmick, which is the radar trailer. I had to use that here. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of how it could work out really good. Let me grab a little bit of fuel from this carrier just to pop off. So General, you've been enjoying it? I mean, the idea is really cool. I think it's really, it, it's, I think it's much better than, um, than farming. It's just, uh, I think like with repairing these water booms, then them not having any water, it, it just kind of, it's kind of weird. Cause I think it's, it's more tailored for like multiplayer. And it goes back to my, my current point is why make that if multiplayer is still somewhat broken? Yeah, that's the thing. I think it's just a multi- I think that's a multiplayer thing is for the water booms. A lot of people have been saying that. I think one of them are filled, or partially filled, I think. I'm not sure, but... I don't know. Here, Here's the thing. If they're making stuff that's, that's almost, like, geared toward multiplayer, maybe they are planning on fixing multiplayer. I mean, could be. Yes, that's also another bug. That's also something else I forgot about. Uh, General, good, good one, actually. That's another thing I, I was kind of displeased with is you having to switch from metric or Imperial to metric just to fill up your your water tank. Oh, have the booms fill up over time. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be a cool metric. I don't know how they could implement that with... You know what I'm saying? With like coding that correctly. I don't know how that would be... How they could do that. I think what would be cool is make it like a task because I don't think they could actually put that in as like hey it refills every day that passes in the game the thing is people or like I don't know if they could implement like a timer so I think what they could do is they could make it so like a task fills that up do you know what I'm saying like after you complete this task it's almost like this much time this much time has passed and make that like a quest or like a task or contract reward where that boom will fill up. So I guess that's a way to bypass it. I don't know. They will never fix anything. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. But there's all, I guess, wishful thinking, you know? Two packaged sands. Year three, nothing has changed. Yeah, I don't. But here's the thing, District. Do you? What do you think of this new map? Like, wh what do you think of it overall? I know you haven't. I don't know if you've streamed it much or not. I, I've been kind of, kind of gone a little bit on the weekends because I've been having some family things going on. So, I haven't really got to hear your your take on it. Oh man. Oh, you've been playing Mudrunner? Nice, man. Actually, I have been seeing your uploads of Mudrunner. Okay, let's do... Package sand, and I need to grab one from the platform. Sadly, but that's alright. It's the nature of it. Oh, you didn't get it yet? You're very disappointed in Season 9? Really?
Let's get back to this zone. You know what? Actually, here's a little... I think this is a shortcut, too. I think this is. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna give this a shot. First, I need to keep this from falling off, so we'll do that. Oh, so they just reskin them. Oh, I see. So, essentially, my critiques on them just reskinning things. Back when I made the Tega uh, 6455B review, I kind of made a statement about Saber just doing that. So that basically just holds true then. So instead of making something new, they're just reskinning it and repurposing something else. Okay, one second, I have to pick this up. My wife is calling me. One second. Okay, we're back. All right, let's try to complete this here. So they literally changed the coating from fuel to water and they vanish. That's why water disappears and the whole metric gallons ain't working. Oh, that is, a, that is really interesting. That is really interesting. I'm actually glad you brought that up. That is really sad. That's not fixed. That's really sad. Okay, I guess this was actually an actual road. But it's not on the on the beaten path, so it's kinda cool. Oh, you think they don't know how to fix it? See that's the thing, man. It's like why? Why not just create create it all as like a new cre new creation? Do you see what I'm saying? Instead of reskinning it, like what what like how much time did it save you in reskinning that opposed to just making it anew? You know what I mean? I, I don't I just don't get it. That lo I don't get the logic. Wow, that's actually a pretty cool trail though. I kind of like this. That was actually kind of cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's essentially, yeah. It's funny that the, like, the modders, they, they figure this stuff out. It's like they... I'm not, I'm not a fan of... Uh, how do I say this? I'm not a person that just bashes Saber, so... Uh, Forgive me if I sound like a bashing saber, but I think holding them accountable with what they're giving us is okay. I think being, I don't think being overcritical, I think being overcritical is a bad thing, but I think essentially giving them good feedback is important. I think that's what a lot of people have been giving them is, is feedback. Now, who knows if that feedback has been taken. So, I mean, we never know, right? Sweet. So there's the, the water boom six. So essentially, now I need to take this. I think it's the cabin. To. Or the next consumable to here. Which we can do. 
Is there small pipes here? There is small pipes here. Dang. It's gonna have to get get there somehow. So well yeah. Anyways, y'all, that is the extent of my time today. I don't I didn't I know I didn't really stream too long today. I kinda wish I could have. But uh I got some things I need to to do today. Um, I would stay tuned and look forward for the Zix 566 Alpha review. Um, definitely not going to be this week. I'm going to try to do some more testing on it this week and stuff like that. Touch base with some folks about it. And then uh, eventually next week, I would like to have that review out for you guys. So um, stay tuned for that. And then also stay tuned for some more, some more streams here. I'd like to definitely get a couple more streams of this of this region in here and then maybe after we complete this stuff who knows maybe we'll do a, a randomizer or something like that and start that journey and you know that was that struggle so it's been great it's been fun i love you guys have a great day night morning wherever you're at in the world and as always god bless and stay upright <laughs>